Hello everybody. In this video, we will check about the closing balance in DAX. So what is closing balance? So it is a debit or credit balance of a ledger account in the chart of accounts at the end of an accounting period or year, right? So it is the amount of funds your business has at the end of a particular chosen accounting period. So as an explanation, a closing balance is an account of funds your business has at the end of a particular chosen accounting period, a day, a month, a quarter, or a year. So we will come to know more about it in the next slide. Anyway, what is closing balance month? It evaluates the expression of the last date of the month in the current context. So whatever may be the revenue you are generating per day, the closing balance of a month is the revenue you are going to get generated in the last day of that month. So if you have a month of 30 days and all the 30 days you are getting revenue, the closing balance will be the 30th day's balance. Same thing for balance quarter, closing balance quarter, which evaluates the expression as the last date of a quarter in the current context. So you know, an year is being separated by four quarters. So January, February, and March is the first quarter. So whatever may be the revenue you are generating in any days in February or whatever may be in January, the closing balance per quarter of the first quarter will be on the 31st March. That day, whatever revenue you are generating, that is a closing balance. The same thing for an year, December 31st, whatever you are generating, whatever you are getting, that is the closing balance of that year. This is the DAX function for generating the closing balance per month, the expression or the column and the dates, which date. And if you need, you can use filter like for a particular country or a region. Suppose you can use filter. Same thing for closing balance quarter. Same thing for closing balance year. So we see an example. This image will almost make you clear what is exactly what is closing balance. So we are just we just wanted to know the closing balance per month of quarter and year of this August, 2018 August. So August comes in the quarter three, third quarter, and the year is 2018. And what is some this is the Closing balance of quarter, 539.42 is the closing balance of quarter. So how we will get it? You see the quarter three, the September 30th day, the revenue generated was 539 rupees. So that amount has been taken as the closing balance of the quarter. And the closing balance of year is you see 2018, the last day of the year is 44.89. That is being taken as the closing balance. And closing balance of month of August is 31st day. The day is 31st and the revenue generated in that day is being taken 64. And that is taken as the closing balance month. So we will see an example. We will try to generate the closing balance through, the, through DAX function for month, quarter, and year. So here we are having a data set, a life science data set, which is having a model. The model is simple, and we are going to take it only this calendar table and the purchase table and that also the revenue and the date. Date is being uh, linked with the purchase table, first purchase date. So we try to create the closing balance. We will create a measure for that. So before creating the measure, what we will do is that we will display the date, quarter, year and month with the day along with the 
Draupadi. So we are taking the date and the entire hierarchy we need because then only we will understand. So date we are taking and with respect to the revenue we are taking. So in here we will, since it is filtered, we can see each and every day the, general, the revenue that is getting generated. Here we can see the year, the quarter, the month and the date. Since we are having lots of years, it is better to filter it with one year or two years. Better to filter it with two years so that we will understand it properly. So go to the year filtering and do basic filtering and we will take 2017 and 2018. And what we can do is that we can increase the font here. And give it 20 so that it will be easy to see. And we can put the border also for that. And the next thing what we can do is that we can take a slicer. We need to select the year. So take a slicer and date hierarchy. It should be the hierarchy because we need to know the uh, details of quarter, quarter, month, and date. And since we have taken only two years, better to stick on the two years itself here also. Just go to basic filtering and 2017 and 2018. Closing. Balance of month equals closing equals to closing closing balance month we got and we will get the sum of function of purchase table and the column is revenue column is revenue and the next is the date and calendar date, so much date. So that's it. So this is the expression, closing balance, sum x, purchase, and this is a column name, and this is a date, and we are going to get it. So we'll display it in a Card and we'll take it here. So this 158.53 we saw that is the closing balance of the month. Since we, are, we didn't select anything from this slicer, but still we got 158.53. This is actually the closing uh, balance of month of the last year. This here we have uh, included only 2018. This is actually the closing month of uh, 2021 because uh, till 2021 data we have and we have only filtered 2017 and 18. If you select, if you remove this filter and see this 158.53 will be 2021 last data. It will be last this data in this data set, which will be. So we are having, since this much of data is there, that's why we selected 2017 and 2018. So we are having the 2021, so the last date is 21st of July, 2021, and that data is 158.53. That is shown as closing balance, but we have, we, they have taken only 2017 and 2018 because since uh, it is very difficult to uh, make understand with respect to lots of years. So we have taken only these two years. So another thing we need to do is that whenever we select a, a month here, with respect to the month here also, it is getting filtered 
and if it is filtering like if it is getting filtered like that it would be difficult to show you the closing month balance along with closing quarter also so it is better to take out this this uh, filter from this table so we can do the formatting edit interaction and we can take out the filter from this table So right now we are planning to select the February of 2017. We need to get the closing balance. So we are going to get February 28th, the last day of February as closing balance of month. Now what we need to do is that with respect to this February, we need to get the closing balance of quarter and the closing balance of year. So we can write a measure for that. Now closing balance. For quarter. Equals to. Closing balance quarter. There is a function in DAX. And same thing. We can get the sum of the revenue. And then the date. So here we go the closing balance of the quarter. So now we what we can do is that we can uh, select the closing balance of quarter also inside. In the first quarter we see. This is the end of the first quarter and the last day we got 7.50 and that 7.50 is shown. But for the closing balance of February, the month means the last day of February that we got 580. And we can get the closing balance of the year. So we can write closing balance. But it goes to Closing balance of year expressions and we can give purchase the table column name and the column date. If you need any filter, you can write it next but right now we don't need a filter we are just showing you how to use the closing balance so we got the year closing balance here also so we will select the year also in this so the closing balance here it is coming as 145.50 that is the closing of 2070 See the 2017 December 31st, it will be the same 145.50. Same thing if you use for March. It is 7.50. And same thing, this is the end of the first quarter also. So it is 7.50 and the closing balance of 2017 as we have seen earlier it is 145.50 so this is the way we can get the closing balance of month quarter and year usually we can use this for stock market for analyzing the stock market and it will be usually used for financial data closing you know that we have future period all this, you can use this closing balance DAX and hope, hope we will use it and explore it more. And if you have any doubt, you can comment it below. Thank you. Have a nice day.